Hi, everyone, and a very good evening to all of you. Today, on the fourth part of my series about the characteristics of global leaders to whom I had the blessings to have met, I want to talk about Mr. Brian Cha. A good friend of mine, I have known him for nearly 11 years. And what a coincidence though. He is also a childhood friend of my wife. So the joke goes that, hey, you know, maybe my wife had helped you change diapers. <laughs> yes, all jokes aside. Many of you probably have seen uh, his YouTube videos about how he can help you to achieve your goals in business, about how to um, up, upgrade your skills uh, to be able to put your business online and provide you with business solutions. Here, many people think he's exaggerating. You know, can you really make that much money? Um, and today I had the blessing. I visited his office and he has at least six, no, one of these silver ones. And I think four or five gold ones since 2017. And I had to take a photo with this one. Oh, this one is so unique. Uh, this one is... Uh, a plaque given to Brian from ClickFunnels. When you can achieve 10 million US dollars in sales in a year, you get one of these plaques. And in Asia, Brian is the only one who has one of these. And so I have to take a picture with this one. Now, you might say, am I impressed with Brian's characteristic uh, of being able to make money, lots of money. Is that, is that what, 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 what I learned from Brian? No, no. If you think that money, it's a part of a characteristic or earning money or making money is part of a characteristic of a good leader, then you have missed out the point of leadership. What I have learned from Brian is this. I learned from Brian Cha that you need to have an undaunting spirit as a leader. Now, what's an undaunting spirit? I don't, I think a picture is better than a thousand words. So here you can take a look at the picture. This is David. And this is Goliath. And if you know the story, David was only a teenager or probably younger than a teenager, 12, 11. And he told King David that he can slay Goliath because he had slayed bear, bears and lions before. Anyway, um, if I'm a king today and I heard this story, I, I'm going to put that boy in, a, in an insane hospital. But this is who Brian is. He is David, and here's the Goliath. The Goliath, I can allegorize it. It is not just a human being. It can be obstacles. It can be your adversaries. It can be projects to which others say you can't fulfill. But Brian has this undaunting spirit, means that he is not afraid. And that is what impressed me the most or impresses me the most. And that is also um, what drives Brian, the undaunted spirit, the, the no fear, the no fear of trying anything. Uh, why am I saying this? Well, let's take a look at the next slide. Brian and I, we had a talk. He invited me to be on his uh, Facebook Live. 
And he said on the bottom here, he said, who inspired me to dream super big? And in fact, he said, it was me. Because Brian, I know Brian very well. Um, one day he said, you know, what can I do, Tom, to, to, to separate myself from the rest of uh, uh, trainers? And I said, well, you need to, to, to probably do something that nobody else has done. And so I said, you know what? what you're pretty good in golf. Why don't you try to break a record um, hitting the most golf balls in 24 hours? I think it was 12 hours, excuse me. And Brian thought about that. He said, you know what? He didn't even hesitate. He said, yes, I'm going to do it. And so um, in, I can't remember the year, I think it was 2012. But listen, it took him a long time to train. It took him months. Um, he had, you know, he, he had to see his, uh, I mean, he saw his physical therapist more than he saw his wife. <laughs> yeah, his wife got jealous because he was in pain every day, practicing hitting those golf balls. And, uh, and you know, I'll give you a little inside story later on. And he practiced day and night, I think for six months. And then on the faithful night, he hit the golf ball for 12 consecutive hours. Not only did he, you know, uh, uh, break the record, but he toured it. And from my point of view, I don't think anyone else will be able to break that record. That is the undaunting spirit of Brian Shaw. 12 hours, no sleep, keep swinging at a tiny little ball. And it has to travel a certain distance. People say, why, why is he doing this? It's because he wants to break away from the pact. He has this undaunting, unfair, uh, no fear spirit that it's a challenge that he wants to take on. But that, it doesn't stop there, though. You know, the story continue with, he said, Tommy, what should I do next? And I said, bro, I looked him in the eye, eye to eye, and I said, why don't you swim the English Channel while pulling a boat? Have a, have a strap around you and have a child, you know, of course, safely seated behind you, you know, behind the, on the boat. And you pull him for a certain distance and bring another child, maybe one from every country. For what? To say that Brian will pull you through in the midst of a storm for world peace. Now, many of you are listening now and you say, man, Tom, you are crazy, bro. What? Swim the English Channel, that is hard enough. But to, to pull, to latch a boat on, on your shoulder and pull a child, of course, now, not from beginning to the end, you know, maybe for part of the way, just to show, to, to symbolize peace, to symbolize bravery. Many of you say, oh, you are crazy. But you know what Brian said? Brian said, that's a hell of an idea. I can do it. Just let me practice for one year. But you have to do something for me. And I said, what? We said, well, if I'm going to train for one year, I will need you to raise some money for me so then I can take care of my family. But but I didn't. I couldn't raise the money for him. But you know what? That's not the story about money. It's not about money. It's about being already in his 40s, um, near 40s, sorry, bro, <laughs> you're not that old yet. And still having that undaunting spirit to say, okay, I swim. I'll swim the English Channel with a boat latched on my back and with a kid in it. Just to show that, or symbolize, not to show, to symbolize that Brian Char will lead you, will lead the children through 
the midst of a storm. That's what Brian impresses me the most. What did I learn from him? How am I using what I have learned? If what you have learned, it's always kept inside you, then it is in vain. Well, he inspired me to do this. This has always been in my mind for the last 10, 11 years to be able to do CEO coaching. Um, yeah, you know, here I am promoting my CEO coaching. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, because of some of the global leaders to whom I had the blessings to work with, uh, CEOs, Nobel Prize winners, presidents, uh, authors, speakers, uh, I can share with you my experience of how a CEO should present. I can share with you uh, uh, my experience about how uh, what the characteristics of a CEO it, uh, are and what should and CEO possess in terms of characteristics and how to raise up your brand, how to build up your brand as a CEO. And also, how do you become a global CEO instead of, let's just say, a local CEO? And I can also help you just to show you how you can um, start up your own CEO network. And lastly, of course, English. Uh, if you want to be a global CEO, how are you going to improve your English? How do you speak well and enunciate well? Okay, speaking and enunciating is different. All right. And so my, uh, my little, not a seminar, but what you call this, a little a little talk, a little sharing will be um, on Facebook uh, February 1st from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And we have a little Q&A, 9, 930, a little friendly chat. Bring bring a cup of coffee, you know, hold a wine. <laughs> we don't want to get boozy. So join me, join me. I'll, and, and I'll share my experience with you. And going back to Brian Child, um, I, I was afraid. I mean, I said, man, can I still do this? I'm hitting the big six old. And can I still be able to coach some of, someone to become a global CEO? Do I still have that energy, that drive? But then, you know, today, Brian alleviated all the doubts and fear for me. He said, you know, man, um, I'm still in pain. I said, in pain what, man? Because you drove too fast in your Lamborghini and <laughs> you had a whiplash, whoa. He said, no, man, stop the joke. Okay, 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 so I'll stop the joke. He said, man, after I broke that record, now remember, he practiced for six months now and he is a trainer. He is a trainer, a, a, a fitness trainer. He said, I am still in pain today because of those 12 hours, those six months of, you know, six to eight hour practice a day, he is still in pain. He paid a price and he was undaunting. And when I heard this, I said, man, if Brian can do it, and I was the one who told him to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start something I always wanted to do, to share my experience with those who are at managerial, uh, the echelon, or maybe the director echelon, and help them to be able to go up to the next echelon. That's what I learned from Brian, the undaunting spirit. Hope this video has helped you. I will see you at the next video. Take care. Good night.